Hey, what's going on guys? So I saw a video going viral on Twitter and I was really surprised to see it going viral because all it is is my old stomping grounds on a drilling rig. You got some roughnecks making a connection of drill pipe. And I saw that it had over 1 million views. And I saw a lot of people in the comments asking questions about what they were actually doing. So I wanted to make a video real quick explaining the process of making up a connection of drill pipe. So what you see here on the video right now is you got a rough neck and he's working on the drill floor of a drilling rig. If you haven't seen a drilling rig, this is what a drilling rig looks like right here. You have them all over Texas, North Dakota, Oklahoma, Louisiana. This guy right here, he's got his hands on tongs. And what tongs are, are they're like a big pipe wrench and they bite onto the drill pipe and they make up the connection. And what he's got his foot on is called a pair of slips. And so what he's about to do is he's gonna kick in these slips and it's gonna hold the drill pipe in place. So you could think that they have 5,000 feet of drill pipe where it's going down the hole and this is actually drilling the hole. It's got a drill bit on the end of it. And so, say that they have 5,000 feet of this and it's 16 pounds per foot, that it comes out to 80,000 pounds of what we call string weight. So it's got a lot of weight to hold and it's gonna sit in these slips. So let's look at it right here. He starts the connection, throws in his slips, he breaks apart this joint right here and they spin it out. And so what the top part of this joint right here is called is the Kelly. It's actually called the Kelly Cot, which is funny. The oil and gas industry has a lot of inappropriate names. But what they're gonna do is they're gonna move the Kelly cock from the 5,000 feet of drill pipe and they're gonna stick it over in the stump. And what the stump is, is it's a 30 foot joint of pipe. So you put in one joint of pipe at a time. They're 30 foot sections, 30 feet, 30 feet, 30 feet. And you do that until you're all the way down to the bottom of the well, which is usually 20,000 feet. So what they're gonna do is they're gonna stab this in the next joint of pipe, they miss. This is where I'd be talking trash to them, like, ah, oh, ah, oh, get it in there. Put your purse down, get it in the stump. They're gonna make up this joint of pipe. You can see that they're throwing chain right here. This is something that you don't do anymore. It's very antiquated technology. Throwing chain is extremely dangerous. This is how you lose fingers. And so really, uh, you know, respect to these guys for still doing that, but we don't use this type of technology. It's not very common anymore. This is actually called a rotary rig. It's the type of rig that I broke out on and I worked on uh, 10 years ago, but we've upgraded to top drive rigs. We have iron roughneck. So you don't even use these types of tongs anymore to make up the connections. Roughnecks have it easy nowadays, but this is real roughnecking right here. So they make up this connection. And now what they're gonna do is they're gonna pick it up with the Kelly and they're gonna stick it into the uh, drill string, into the 5,000 feet of drill string. So you'll see him right here. He's gonna throw his chain on and he's gonna get his chain ready. And what that chain does is it's attached to what's called a cat head. And once it uh, pulls in, it actually spins the pipe around and makes the uh, connection up. He's putting in some pipe dope there to dope up the threads. They'll stick in that 30 foot joint. They'll spin it in with the chain put their tongs on it, tighten it up, make up the connection, and they'll do that 30 feet by 30 feet. They'll go down, they'll drill 30 feet, they'll come back up, they'll get a, another 30 feet, 30 foot piece of drill pipe, put it on all the way down to the bottom of the hole, which is called TD or total depth. Once you do that, you're ready to complete the well, frack it, and make some oil. So, there's your oil and gas lesson, your 101 on roughnecking.